Hi, this is uh, Charles Wood from Duquesne University, and I'm here to give you some interview questions that you might receive in a technical, I mean, a uh, yeah, technical JavaScript uh, interview. First, what's the difference between loose coupling and tight coupling in JavaScript? Loose coupling is really what you are going for. Uh, tight coupling is when JavaScript only works if it's in the current environment that it's in. Loose coupling means that you can take the JavaScript out of the browser, out of its uh, list of objects, and move it to a different browser with a different list of objects, and it would still work. So loose coupling aids in testing, and tight coupling means that you cannot, when you make one change to it, you have to test everything again. So uh, a loose coupling is what you shoot for, but sometimes you need to tightly couple things to make things work. Okay, next, how do you de detect the operating system on a client machine in JavaScript? That is done with the navigator object. The navigator object goes in and uh, uh, retrieves all the information about the machine that is trying to uh, read your web page. You can read what kind of uh, capabilities that it has, and uh, including the uh, operating system. Okay, uh, what's the difference between a navigator object and a Windows object? Well, as I said, the navigator object has information about the machine. The window object has information about the current browser session. So every page that you open has a window object, but if the machine hits you several times, there's only one navigator object. Okay, uh, what's the lexical scoping? Lexical scoping means that we scope variables from inside other variables, usually within a nested function. So the, the uh, variables that are declared, the integers and the uh, uh, bytes and the strings that are declared inside a nested function lose their scope the moment the nested function ends. And this is called lexical scoping. So what's the difference between JavaScript expressions and JavaScript declarations? Expressions begin with the word function, and declarations begin with the word var function. And uh, the, the difference is, is that expressions, the words that begin with function, uh, get uh, compiled at, uh, run, get uh, processed at runtime, whereas the declarations get compiled at, I mean, get uh, processed at parse time. And so uh, uh, you cannot use a declaration until you declare it. You can use a function if it's, if it's a, uh, 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 if the function declaration occurs anywhere in the, uh, if the function expression occurs anywhere in the uh, JavaScript on your web page. Okay. Now, if you uh, want to hear some more interview questions on this or other topics, hit my YouTube channel at uh, uh, Charles Wood and uh, click the link on this to get more, more uh, uh, information and, and, and uh, information about some books that are available to you so you can read those books and become more of an expert than you already are. Thank you very much.